and welcome to Sew Your Stash. Today on Sew Your Stash, we are going to be working on projects from our sewing stash. But, of course, we have to have our mustache. <laughs> Chances are, if you're a seamstress, or if you like to sew, looks like we got something for you. This series is called Sew Your Stash. And we are going to be sewing our stash. This is going to be one heck of a beautiful dress. So I'm going to show you how to make a very quick, easy maxi dress out of this material. I'm just going to show you it. This is the complete design of the fabric that I'll be using. So it's very pretty. I got this at Best Estafa last year. I can't wait. But first, I'm going to clean up the bottom edge here. I want to make sure that I make full use of the entire band at the bottom. So unfortunately, this got cut off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off all to this front pink layer at the bottom. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it all off. And that way it's going to be nice and even. Once it's nice and even, I am going to serge it. So let's get going. I'm going to be using my special serging foot. This is really important if you don't have a serging machine. It doesn't cut the fabric at the end, so you got to pre-cut or just cut it afterwards. What I'm gonna do next is take the sides and then sew them together so I great. So I make a super long tube. I decided to keep the salvage edge on because I wanted to use as much of the fabric as possible. Now what I'm going to do is take my dress, even though it's inside out, I'm going to slide it over my head. Absolutely. Then bring it back all the way up and see where it hits the floor that I want. I don't want it to be too low. So now I'm just going to mark it where I want it to sit. And then decide how I want to create the top into something else. Ooh. Part needs to be evenly cut. It's actually not so bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut off this excess pink part. And then I'm going to serge the top edge. This way it's very nice and clean. Yay! Cut off from the marking when you tried it on earlier. Take a strip of elastic and wrap it around your body underneath your bust line. Make sure this is tight and snug as we don't want this dress to fall down. Cut the elastic with a little overlapping so you can sew this together. Before adding the elastic, make sure to serge the edges of that top skirt part. Sew your elastic into a loop. Stretch it across the top of the skirt. If it doesn't fit like mine did, Grab a hand needle and thread and hand sew gathers into the skirt until you reach the desired measurement for your elastic. Once you're done hand sewing, stretch and sew the elastic to the top part of the skirt. Make sure to evenly gather the skirt while sewing the elastic. Make sure to switch your stitches to zigzag stitches. For the last part, I took that leftover square and I hemmed all edges and now I'm going to sew it to the middle and the front of the skirt. This way, I'm going to have a nice reorganizable tie for my top piece of my dress. This dress is super cozy and fun to wear. I can change it many different ways. I can make it into a bandeau top, a halter top as I'm wearing right now. I can do a few different things, make it one-sided, and have so much fun with it. This is kind of like one of those bridesmaid dresses that you see at weddings where they're 
you can change the, the wrapping. I guess it's called like a wrap dress. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Sew Your Stash. Remember to grow your stash and sew your stash. Remember to keep a healthy stash by sewing your stash. And that way, we have beautiful, creative products out there in the world. Make sure to share with Sew Your Stash hashtag. And we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.